Why? He ain't that Mr. Finch? He is, and he's asleep. Don't wake him up. You know him what? Step aside from the door, Mr. Finch. Well, you can just turn around and go home again, Mr. Cunningham. Won't do that. Might as well. Hank Tate's around here somewhere. The hell he is. Hank marched so deep in them woods, they won't get out until morning. Indeed. Why so? I called my wife sniper. Bet you didn't think of that, Mr. Finch. Well, I thought about it, but I didn't believe it. Guess that changes things. Oh, yes, it do. Now, do you really think so? He said, do you really think so? It's going to do some. I got to see this. Oh, oh Stel. Stel. I couldn't hang on to her, son. Dan, go home. Take Stel and Dale and go home. Will you be coming with us? Dan, I told you to go home. I'll take him home. Don't you touch him. No, Stel. Don't kick folks. Please. No. No one's going to do Jim that way. All right, Mr. Finch, you get him out of here then. Give you 15 seconds. I ain't going. Please, then. You have to go. No, sir. Dick, listen to me. I have work that I need to take care of you. No, if I don't you know. cannot stay here, Dick, you need to leave. I'm not going to go home, Dick. I said, hey, Mr. Cunningham. Remember me? I'm Scale. You bought us those tan frames. Scale? You, I go to school with Boy Walter. Remember? Maybe he told you about me because I beat him up one time. <laughs> he is a boy, ain't he? Tell him I said hey for me, will you? My father was telling me about your endowment. He said the bad. Atticus. I remember you told me that Tillman's bad. You said not to worry. It takes long sometimes. But you said you're all right about together. What's the matter? Can nobody tell me? This is kind of him. Ain't nothing the matter, little lady. And I'll tell my boy you said hey. Come on, boys, we're leaving. Boys, we're heading home. I'm not going. It looks that way. Yes, we can go home, Matt. And I thought Mr. Cunningham was a friend. Well, he still is. He just has a glance at us, along with the rest of us. But he was ready to hurt you. Because he was part of a mob. But a mob is always made with people. And Mr. Cunningham? Well, he's still a man. What you children did, you made him remember that. Mr. Fitch. Yes, Tom? They gone? Yes, Tom. They're gone. They won't bother you anymore. Thank you, Mr. Finch. We're going to have a busy time soon, Tom. You'd better get your sleep. You can get some sleep, too. That's my intention. Good night, Tom. Good night. Not here in the chair for you, Mr. Finch. Well, why, thank you, son. I want to go home, man. What'd you say we did to Mr. Cunningham? You made him stand in my shoes for a minute. 